six years in the team. They raised me in the World Tour. A bit emotional, of course, but I kind of knew it was coming. So it's nice to enjoy, but uh, we'll be a bit sad uh, yeah, when I drive home in the car tomorrow, because even if we win or not, or if we lose, uh, yeah, we'll be, at least for the next three years, I'll be in a different team. It's part of life, but it's not the easiest part. You could say it's, it's, it will be difficult tomorrow, yeah. Today I'm starting the campaign to officially nickname myself the Hurricane of Heukelum. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I just want to do what I like to do. Let's race. Before I came to the team, I was in SEC Racing Academy, which was three years in under 23. I won maybe 15 races, one of which was in the Tour de l'Avenir. Got the attention from a few teams, and Patrick offered me a contract for two years. And I knew Nicky Terpstra was in his team. Asked if I could call him, and I asked him about the team and if he thought it was a good opportunity for me because in the end, he was the only one who knew how the Wolf Pack was working and if I could become a member of it by the way I, I am as a person. And he said, you know, if you just come work hard, do your thing, you'll get your chances and uh, you're obviously a winner. So I think he said, I think you can for sure win there. I kind of didn't believe him. And I remember the first weeks on training camp that it was very hard. And I even doubted if I should be there. <laughs> At the climbs in Kalpa, I was suffering, but Day by day, you know, you do the training and you recover and then step by step, uh, yeah, you become stronger. So like I said, they, they, they raised me, they, they built me into this even stronger sprinter that I was back then in the under 23. So yeah, this, this team has, uh, has been very important in my growth towards uh, becoming a top sprinter and with all the staff and all the riders and, and the trainers, I. I've got a special connection and yeah, I will never get the six years back, but I'm grateful to have had them in this team. Those first two years were, were maybe the best in terms of amounts of victory of the team. So for sure in 18, when I think we took 72 victories as a team, I remember that almost every race we did, if it was either a one-day race or a stage race, we won or we took stages. When, when I look back, it was amazing. I think from those first two years, the, the first time uh, Noko de Schelte Prize in the spring was big because then you don't open the door into the pro ranks, but you just kick it in. The year after, I became national champion, which was, I think until then, probably my biggest win. Because in the end, if you do that, yeah, it means you're the best of a country, which is also kind of big. And then I took that jersey to the Vuelta, where I won my first Grand Tour stage and the last stage in Madrid. I think after those two years, the, 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 the closing win in, in Madrid was, yeah, that's what you want as a sprinter. You want to be able to be fast and finish, but you also want to get through the three weeks of racing and all the climbing. So I think after two years in the team, I really showed that I was capable of a good future and uh, becoming a top sprinter. So those two years were really a build up towards the, the sprint stage in Madrid. A nickname is something you get and uh, I didn't choose it. But there's a few more. I think there's also the Hulk of Heuklum. I think, uh, Something like Tornado Tom, they had, Tom Bona. And then I'm the Hurricane of Huglo. I remember all the riders, all the staff visiting my place, even though I was still not able to really speak loud or I was tired a lot, but they, they made the effort to drive all the way to the Netherlands with the car to see me. Uh, we even did a couple of training rides together. I remember when, when Ilio Kais and Dries Devenijs and Zdenek Stiba came uh, with their bikes and I said, you know, we do three, three and a half and it was raining. 
And then, uh, yeah, I kind of made a, a loop a bit too big, but then we did four hours in the rain, but everybody was happy and we had a nice lunch after. And yeah, I felt really supported by them. They knew it was hard for me, but yeah, they always did their best to support me. And of course, uh, all the doctors, sport directors, my trainer. Yeah, but on those moments when it's hard, you know you are not alone. And I've, yeah, this, this team and especially all those people will always have a, a special place in my heart. And that's why I'm sad to leave the team. I know it was no other option, but uh, I will always remember that as a, even though it was a very bad period, one of the happiest memories I have uh, connecting to them. For my six years, they have developed me from being a neo-professional who had talent and could win and sprint into the top sprinter who can win at the highest level that I am now. And I'm forever grateful to everybody from Patrick Lefebvre all the way down, everybody in the organization who has helped me. And for sure in the next years, I will see them at the race and, uh, and of course say hi to them and maybe even have a drink with them to enjoy because in the end, the family will always stay family, and that's the way I feel about this team and about the Wolfpack and also the guys that have left but were here with me for a long time. Even when now, when I see them in a race, we, you still have that connection because you went through a lot together. You felt supported by each other. And yeah, like I said, it's a special bond that, that will never go away. Dear fellow Wolves, I love you all. You are in my heart. We will race against each other, but I will always love you and perhaps we see each other again in the future because you never know what the future brings.